So I'm testing the scale precision of the Trig Jig RSA fixed rafter square. I'm using plain timber for this demo. Watch the end of the video to see why using sawn is problematic when testing accuracy. I use the five inch mark on the RSA 7 and then check that against an engineer's rule. And that's perfect. I use a standard framing square with a fence and this is set to 5 inch on the rise and 12 on the other end. If it lines up with the mark I made then it should be good but we'll go through the process anyway. So it's on the line and the right angle is on the 5 inch mark but I'll intersect these marks and give a close up shot too just for clarity. And I check again with an engineer's rule which doesn't have the potential error of a tape measure. And that's pretty much dead on. Here I'm using a generic unbranded square, but it's actually quite accurate, if not the best quality. I'm also using sawn timber. And note how the rounded edge of the sawn timber and the viewing angle of the marks on the square can make it difficult to get it just right. I'll demonstrate why that matters. If I get it wrong by half a degree here and I mark this line with a 0.8mm pencil just for clarity then move it half a degree which is easy to do accidentally this leads to approximately 132 of an inch difference on a 5 inch rise and it doesn't sound or look like much but probably not noticeable with a standard pencil either. I'll freehand the framing square without a fence or stair gauge since we know the two won't be identical. And again just for a visual representation, I'll intersect those endpoints and you can see already how half a degree error at the start manifests into something bigger. There you go.